Hi, my name is Dean Paul Denniston, and today we'll be replacing the front wheel on the Crazy Cart Shift. This is an easy procedure. It should take you approximately 20 minutes from start to finish. You will need the following tools. A six millimeter Allen wrench, a three millimeter Allen wrench, a 13 millimeter open end wrench, and an adjustable wrench. This process can be completed in four easy steps. Step one, unmounting the motor. Step two, removing the motor. Step three, connecting the new motor. And step four, mounting the new motor. Now let's get started on step one, unmounting the motor. Take your six millimeter Allen wrench and loosen the bolt on top of the steering wheel. You only need to loosen it, not remove it all the way. With the bolt loose, you can remove the steering wheel by lifting straight out. It might take some force or a light smack. Now that we have the steering wheel out, we can set it aside. With your adjustable wrench, remove the lock nut on the top. Spin it off. And set it aside. Next, remove the washer. Set it aside, followed by the bearing nut. Just spin it all the way off. And set it aside. And that concludes step one, unmounting the motor. Now on to step two, removing the motor. Since we're gonna be working on the motor, let's flip the cart over. Grab the wheel so it doesn't fall out of the bottom and flip your cart completely over. Pull the wheel assembly up and out. Using your three millimeter Allen wrench, remove the bolt that secures the cable to the fork. Set the bolt aside and be sure not to lose it. Now let's disconnect the motor. Slide the plug out of the bracket and pull each side of the red plug Now we can work on just the motor and the fork. Using your 13 millimeter open end wrench, loosen the nut on the side of the wheel. Now using your three millimeter Allen wrench, remove the three bolts on the other side of the wheel. Set your three bolts aside and be sure not to lose them. Now we can slide the wheel and motor out of the fork. Grab your wheel and slide straight down. And that concludes step two, removing the motor. Now on to step three, connecting your new motor. Now let's connect our new motor to the fork. Make sure both washers are on the outside of the fork. Slide the motor into the fork. You wanna make sure that the plug can reach the plug bracket. Now let's reinstall the three bolts on the motor side of the wheel. We're gonna tighten all three hand tight. Once they're all hand tight, we can use our three millimeter Allen wrench and tighten them all the way. On the other side of the motor, we're gonna use our 13 millimeter open end wrench and tighten the nut. With the motor secured to the fork, we can attach it back to the crazy cart. First, let's connect the motor. Take the plug from the crazy cart side and plug it into the motor. It only plugs in in one direction, so you can't mess it up. Now slide the plug into the plug holder. Next, we can secure the plug wire to the fork. Reinstall the bolt that you removed earlier. And using your three millimeter Allen wrench, tighten that bolt all the way. With the tap facing forward and the cable on the right side of the motor, slide the motor into the cart. Flip the cart over, keep the motor secure. And with it connected, that concludes step three, connecting your new motor. Now onto step four, mounting the motor. First, we're gonna install the bearing nut. 
Just put it on and tighten. We're only putting it on hand tight so the wheel can still spin freely. Next, slide on the washer and follow it with the lock nut. Using your wrench, tighten the lock nut. With the lock nut secure, we can reinstall the steering wheel. Make sure the lock is nice and loose. Line up the groove in the back of the steering wheel with the groove in the tube. Slide it together. And using your six millimeter Allen wrench, tighten the steering wheel. And that concludes step four and the process of replacing the motor and wheel on the Crazy Cart ship. I hope you found this video helpful and informative, but if you still have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to contact customer support at Razor.com. Now get out there and have some fun. Bye-bye.